Want to create this beautiful timeline scrolling animation but don't want to deal with After Effects? No worries, you can totally pull this off in Premiere Pro, and I'm about to show you how. By the way, you can download all project-related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. First things first, let's create that timeline indicator. I'm using PhotoP, a free alternative to Photoshop. So if you don't have Photoshop, you're good to go. Start by creating a new project with a wide canvas. Now create a new layer, grab your pen tool, and let's adjust a few settings. Change it from path to shape, pick a bold yellow color for the stroke, and set it to eight pixels. For the stroke type, choose rounded dots. Now click to draw your line, hold shift to keep it straight, and boom, you've got your dotted line. Pretty cool, right? Next up, grab the ellipse tool and create a circle with 30 pixels of width and height. Remove the stroke and give it a fill color of your choice. Now, align this circle with your line. Here's the trick. Duplicate the circle by pressing Ctrl or Command J, move it to the right to create some space, and repeat this process to make a total of eight circles. To keep them evenly spaced, select all the circles and hit that vertical equal gap button. Looks good so far. Before we move on, we've got to remove that white background. From File menu exported as a PNG with a transparent background. Easy, right? Now, save it somewhere easy to find. Now let's bring that image into Premiere Pro. Just drag and drop your PNG file into your project timeline. We'll add text, so let's pull it down a bit. Zoom in on your preview window so we can really fine tune things. Next, grab the Type tool to add some text. Change the font, size, and color to fit your style. I think we should push that text a little higher to line it up with the timeline. Looks clean. Now copy and paste that text within same layer. Just tweak the X position and change the text for your timeline labels. I'm going for a five year gap here. Five minutes later. Once that's done, extend the time duration of both text layers and nest them. Give it a name so we can stay organized. Time to create a new sequence. Hit Ctrl or Command N and change few settings. I'm setting it up with 1080p resolution and a 30fps frame rate. Adjust if you prefer different settings. Drag your timeline sequence onto video track 2. Don't worry about the warning about mismatched settings. Just hit Keep Existing Settings. Now from the project panel, create a new color mat. Choose light gray and give it a name. Drag this color mat to video track 1. Extend the duration to match your sequence. Let's get to the fun part. Animation. Grab your stopwatch icon and add it to video track three. Head over to the effects panel and click on the stopwatch next to scale and rotation. We're going to add some bounce here, so let's decrease the scale and rotate it a bit. After a few frames, increase the scale and reset the rotation. For the bounce effect, move five frames forward and adjust the scale again. Now for a little fade in effect, Add keyframes for opacity. Start at 0% and go to 100% at the end. Simple but effective. Let's add some smoothness. Ease out on the first keyframes and ease in on the second ones. If the animation feels too fast, simply adjust the keyframe spacing. Now take playhead to the frame where stopwatch bounce and take that timeline sequence there. From Opacity section, create 4-point polygon mask, then adjust its size. If it's done, set its mask feather value to 300. Again, move few frames forward and click on stopwatch icon next to mask path. Go back to first frame and shrink its size as much as possible. This will help to reveal our timeline. All right, let's make that timeline scroll. Head over to the effects panel and search for transform. Apply that to your timeline sequence. In the effect controls panel, click the stopwatch next to position and let's start animating. Move the timeline from right to left, like it's scrolling forward in time. After a few frames, increase the position value until the year 2025 is fully visible. To make this feel more realistic, uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle and set the shutter angle to 320 degrees. This gives it a nice blur when things move fast. Now we're going to tweak the keyframes so that the motion is smooth. Drag these keyframes handles opposite to each other that helps to adjust the speed and velocity curve. This will give you that polished, fluid animation feel. 
And now for the fade out effect on that last year. Double click on timeline sequence and set keyframes for position and opacity. After three frames, slide it up and fade it out. Easy, right? Back in the final sequence, let's bring in that stopwatch icon again. Set the same keyframe as last time. After a few frames, scale it up a little and also we're adding keyframes for position to give it some movement. After a few frames, let's move the stopwatch upwards. And at the same time, animate the timeline down. For the next few frames, tweak the X position of the stopwatch and adjust its scale to match the overall animation. Now take it to video track 4. Next take rectangle tool to add this shape. Then take it to video track 3. From effect controls panel, change the fill color to white. Within that same shape, take a pen tool and create this pointing shape. It's time to add some text and images inside that box. Make sure to add text and images in their own layer. It's simple, so I'm speeding up this part. Here is the sample. Now with white boxes layer selected, add transform effect. Again, we'll animate position from our transform effect. Take your playhead few frames forward and then add keyframe to position. Go back to first frame and increase Y position's value. For that fade in effect, set keyframe for opacity that starts with 0% and end up with 100%. Again, for that smooth animation, set first keyframe to ease out and drag the second keyframe's handle towards your left. So here's the deal. Copy same transform effect and select all layers that includes text and image. Then simply paste the effect. Now move four frames forward and take these layers to that frame. Repeat this same process till the last top layer. Extend the duration of all the layers to match the timeline. You can double click on that white shape layer to edit. Let's set rounded corners around the shape. To enhance it further, add drop shadow effect. By simply adjusting distance and softness values, you can get this smooth shadow around the box. After adding these sound effects, you can take your animation to next level. Are you about to leave? Hold on. While I was reviewing the final result, I noticed an issue with the animation. The drop shadow effect is causing the black shadow to appear right before the slide up animation starts. To fix this, we have two solutions. The first option is to take that transform effect just below the drop shadow. The second option involves adjusting the opacity of the drop shadow using keyframes. So, just before the animation ends, set a keyframe for the opacity at 50%, then take it few frames forward. Return to previous frame and set the opacity to 0%. I'm leaving an eight frame gap between these keyframes. And boom, you've created a seamless dynamic timeline scrolling animation all within Premiere Pro. If you think this animation is cool, you'll definitely enjoy these videos too.